my goodness. Look at this. <gasps> oh, Benson, this is a mansion. Yeah, that's why they don't call it the governor's hut. <laughs> Look, I'll go get the rest of your luggage as soon as I get some feeling back in my arms. <laughs> What's with all this luggage anyway? You're only staying overnight. Well, it's for the banquet tonight. Well, by the time you unpack, it'll be over. <laughs> well, I just couldn't decide what to bring. So you brought everything? Yes. Jessica! Oh, Jean. Oh. <laughs> you look just the same. How long has it been? And you look just the same, too. Only better. So good, in fact, I wouldn't have recognized you if you didn't look just the same. <laughs> <laughs> You know, even if you didn't look just the same, I would have assumed it is you, because, I mean, you are here, and you did know who I was. I'm glad we solved that. I, I can't thank you enough for filling in like this. The fact is, the lady I've been seeing usually attends these functions with me, but she had to beg off at the last minute. Oh, was she suddenly taken ill? Uh, no, she got married in real this morning. <laughs> but you just love the Baron. What Baron? Our guest of honor is the Baron Jacques Darvano. The guest of honor is a Baron? <gasps> What'll I wear? I'll go get the rest of your luggage. You'll find something. <laughs> a real Baron. The Baron's been a guest here at the mansion. He's thinking of opening a winery here. Well, Jean, I certainly think you have the room for it. <laughs> I'm not here, Jessica, here in the state. Oh, excuse me, Governor. The Lieutenant Governor is in your office. Oh, we'll tell him I'll be there in just a minute. Mrs. Tate, I'm Marcy Hill. Yes, I know. The governor's executive secretary. Yes, I know. You do? Yes. Benson has written and told me everything about all of you. All good, I hope. Mostly. <laughs> you must be Taylor. That is correct. And may I say, it is not only an honor, but an extreme privilege to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Thank you. I see what you mean. <laughs> Why don't you just start the meeting without me? I always do. You must be awfully proud of your cousin. I am. The whole family is. Here you are, governor. And none of us thought you would amount to anything. There's still time. Even in school, in chemistry class, Jean was voted the student most likely to dissolve. <laughs> I'd better get to my meeting. I'll see you later. Okay. Yes. Uh, Benson. Tell me all about this baron. Well, there isn't much to tell. The man's 87 years old. 87 years old and he's still a baron? You'd think he'd be king by now. Hi, Benson. Hi, Sugar. I don't believe it. Is this? It is. It can't be. It can. I don't believe it. You better. Are you, Katie? I hope so. <laughs> this is your cousin Jessica, Katie. Hello. Hello, darling. Oh, my goodness, do you know, I haven't seen you since you were six months old. Seems like only yesterday. But, of course, it couldn't be just yesterday because you've grown up so much. I mean, not that I didn't expect you to grow up, but, you see, it's always a surprise to see someone that you can't pick up anymore because they've gotten so big. Is this a riddle? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Would you like to show me to my room? Sure. Oh. Did the rest of the family come too? <laughs>